What's good, fam? It's your boy, Mess Hall in the house. On today's episode, I want to make it kind of fast and quick in a hurry. I want to talk about something that has worked a couple times for me. Now, it is a small sample size, just a small little dip, but we want to see what what's really going on in, in the minds and the brains of the consumer when, when they want to go out and purchase some goodies and, and they end up on my page or your page and they're just uh, browsing, trying to find something that suits their needs and their wants. What do they think about before making a purchase? And I've done this okie doke a couple times and don't understand why it's working. What's good, everybody? Welcome to Mess Hall Digs. It's your boy, Mess Hall. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. Ha, ha, you dern. On this show, uh, we talk about reselling things, you know, trying to find things for as cheap as possible and flip them for more than that on marketplaces such as eBay, Macari, Poshmark, etc. Uh, on today's show, I want to talk about what consumers are thinking about when they make purchases and a certain strategy I've been trying out is working. And I don't know why it's working. So I'm going to walk you through the process, uh, challenge you guys to try to do the same thing, see if it works out for you. Uh, it's a little bit of, you know, arbitrage mixed with online arbitrage, finding products out there at big box stores and things like that, places at the mall, and trying to get exaggerated prices for them. So these are the kinds of things you like kicking back and relaxing to subscribe to your boy and I'll be here for you. We'll take care of each other. We're going to have a good time. Now let's get down to business. So for me, when I'm out shopping, consuming, being a consumer, looking for goodies, I am a bargain shopper always. I always look for prices on multiple marketplaces, multiple different dot coms to try to find the cheapest possible price for the item that I want. Give you an example. It just happened to me recently. So you guys know I always talk about Hoka, 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 Hoka shoes. So I always tell you if you find these things at the thrift store, are great price prices for these. You gotta pick them up 100% of the time. This is money in the bank. That's what the logo looks like. Uh, I work long hours and I'm on my feet most of the day. So I wanted to find a really comfortable shoe that would not make me all scribble up and can't move when I get home. So these are the ones I was in search of. So I found these. Uh, actually, I found out about these shoes from an old, crusty Army Sergeant Major. So he used to go running with us, and he would smoke our bags every time. Now, this guy was in his 50s, and every time we would go running with him, he would just whip our ass. And I noticed that old Krusty Sar Major had these on his foot. And I said, hey, Sar Major, what's up with them shoes you got on? He's like, well, let me tell you something, young man. If you want to become physically fit and stay physically fit, well into your 50s like me, got to get you a good running shoe, something with a lot of support, something that's going to support your back and support your spine. That's why I got on these hookahs right here. So I highly suggest you get you a pair so you can maintain your fitness well into your old age because one day you're going to be an old crusty man like me and you want to make sure you can have a great feeling life after after the army and these hookahs are my secret weapon I was like okay gotta gotta get me a pair so anyway the store I was at I, I looked on Amazon I looked on the Hoka website I looked on eBay I looked at Poshmark I looked at Macari I looked at athletes foot footlock I was going all over the place 
trying to find these shoes for cheaper than the place I was currently at. And after all that research, came to find out that I was in the right place because the shoe store I was in, this was the cheapest price. So I went ahead and picked them up. Now that's what I do when I'm consuming. Like I always thought that's what most people did. Like if you're at Target and you see something, don't, don't you go on Amazon or Walmart.com or eBay to try to see if that particular product you're looking at at Target is cheaper on those on those other marketplaces well come to find out not everyone thinks that way there are some loyalists out there there are some people that only shop on Amazon they only shop on walmart.com they only shop at eBay and I wanted to see if I could start doing a little bit of arbitrage now arbitrage means you're just buying something from one place like a dot com or even on eBay online arbitrage you could buy things on eBay and flip them back on eBay or buy things on Macari and flip them onto eBay that's pretty much all that fancy nonsense word means so one day I was at the mall with the wife and the daughters and when I'm at the mall I like to just peruse around different stores look at styles look at prices I go to Foot Locker look at shoes and I always go into Zoomies. Now, Zoomies is like a skater shop. I love it because they got skateboards on the wall. They got all kinds of different boards to choose from. I used to be in a skateboarding back in the day. Not so much anymore because my balance is off. But anyway, I decided I'm going to start checking out these skateboards and checking out if any of these things are worth money or selling for more on eBay. Come to find out, I found one. It was an Ozzy Osbourne skateboard. I bought it at Zoomies for $59.99 plus tax. Brought it home, threw it up on eBay for $125, bucks, and it sold in about 30 days. So I was like, man, that's interesting. Okay, I said, well, let me go on zoomies.com and I'm just going to search through all the skateboards that they have available on their website and then I'm just gonna compare every one of these to different comps on eBay now it takes time to do research but that's what this game is all about you have to constantly be researching adapting evolving trying to find different little niches that you can probably get into make a little couple extra dollars so element released the 30th anniversary Ghostbuster skateboards so I bought one on zoomies.com for $59.99 they shipped it to my house in a great perfect nice skateboard box I took it out of the box I took some pictures of it put it online for $140 and it sold I was like how how is this a thing so I bought another one and they shipped it to my house and I posted it online and it sold for $140 I'm like I'm getting these skateboards for $60 plus tax comes in a great box I post a picture I mark it up $80 $90 more than I paid for it it sells I put it right back in that beautiful box that zoomies provided for me and I ship it off to the guy that bought it on eBay. Like, how how is this working? And recently, DGK Skateboards released a Bruce Lee collection. And Bruce Lee's my dude. I grew up on Bruce Lee. So let me show you. You can go on zoomies.com right now. Right now. And buy this skateboard for $59.95. Have it shipped to your house in a skateboard box perfect for shipping. And you could sell this skateboard for $130 right now. Just like I just did. Here's the one that I sold. March 9th, 
few days ago. I had it up on my web, on eBay for about 24 days before it sold. So yeah, it's not an insta flip. It's not an immediate flip. It could take 25, 35, 45 days to sell. But when you find the right ones, you're going to make $60 easy on each flip. And I know it takes a little bit of money. I mean, putting $60 out on a product is kind of a gamble. But I've done this four times now, and it's worked out all four times. And it's just not skateboards. It's a lot of different products. You have to put in some research. You can go on walmart.com and, and type in something and, you know, type in a toy of some sort. And then look down the list and compare it to comps on eBay. You could do that on all these different websites and just try to find the cool products that you're into, have them delivered to your house, do your charge up, and then sell them on eBay or Poshmark or Macari, whatever you're into. You have to try it out. It's crazy. I don't understand how it works. Why would you go on eBay and buy mine for 130 when all you had to do was just do a little bit of research Type in DGK Skateboard Bruce Lee, and I'm pretty sure Zoomies is one of the first results that pops up. You could have found it for $59.99, but not everyone thinks that way. They know they want something. They're going to go on eBay first. They're going to see that, oh, this guy has what I want, and it's the cheapest of all the eBay listings, so I'm going to buy his. And that's just, they just zero in on that. You know, there's things that are cheaper on Amazon than they are on eBay, but they still sell on eBay. So if you're in that position where you're at a spot that there's not a lot of thrifting available, there's not a lot of products available for you to sell online, start getting into these online marketplaces, online deals. You got to do a little bit of research. You got to just find something that you're into grab some really good priced items and then do your charge up and start making some money i hope you enjoyed this video it's kind of a little weird different joint going on support your boy like and subscribe comment do what you gotta do i'm out double doses yeah